everyone, Chloe Livy here and welcome to the Easter vlog. Um, right now, I am just showing you guys everything that I'm going to be putting into my cat's Easter basket this year. She has some soft treats, some lickable treats as you can see, some hard treats, and these ones that break away, which is cool. And then I got her this little collar bow, which is super cute, make her look fancy. And then I got her a little Easter bunny plush, super cute, just from Dollar Tree, I believe. All right, so I put a little grass in there. Let's take a look at these because I'm really interested. So you can break them apart, which is really cool. And she hasn't tried them before, so I really wanted to get them for her. And she likes these lickable treats, so we're going to put a couple in there. There's only two left in the pack I already opened. And then these soft treats, I got her a bunch of different ones, as you can see. She's a little spoiled and she doesn't need this many treats, but I did want her to try them. My grandma actually got her one of these packs, which was cute of her. And I am taking the tag off because I don't want her to know how much I spent. I'm just kidding, I thought it would look better. But I'm gonna put these two aside and not put them in the basket and I will fill up a couple of these Easter eggs with them. But I will put that one back in after I took the little tag off. And put that in there i did take off the dog part so she wouldn't be offended that it was for a dog and not a cat um and then put in the little plush i did take off the tag later and then let's fill up these guys put a couple in not too many because um well she doesn't need that many but also because i'm going to be doing an easter egg hunt so i'm just going to fill up two glittery eggs with them just so her little basket will be cute um, and then here's these ones, which are nice. I wanted to try a bunch of different ones. She really likes the soft ones, so... Yeah, they're really soft and tiny, so she gets a few more in there. And then let's close it up. And there we go! Here is her basket. So cute! Oh my gosh! A bunch of treats, and yeah. And then these ones I'm just gonna put aside to fill her eggs tomorrow. And now it's an hour or so later, and I'm going to be doing one of these kits that I got from the Target dollar section. They were originally $3, but they ended up being $1.50 each, so I got two. Um, and I've made candles before, so, you know, I really didn't need the instructions. But I figured I'd do the little kit. I thought it would be super cute to do, and I filmed it for you guys. Here's everything that comes in the kit for $1.50 or even $3. I think it's a pretty good price here's the two scent pouches and i will be instead of boiling it like that says to i'm just going to melt it in the microwave like i usually do with my candles and just i probably melted it for about a minute and a half and needed a little bit more so i put it back in until all the chunks were gone and here are the two scent pouches and now to add the scents in so here's the lavender smelled so good and the vanilla was my favorite and here I am just pouring it in and then I realized it was a lot like less than I thought it would be like are you kidding so I took the pack from the other box and we're gonna melt that and put it in I actually have some more so I don't mind using the other wax and then I grab my essential oils and here we go pouring in the last little bit and picking out my essential oil I'm going to use tea tree, one of my favorites, and I think it will complement the smell very well. Oh my god, I'm out of tea tree essential oil. I used my last drops. So even with two packs, it didn't even get all the way to the top, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why they couldn't have given you more. But there it is with the bow. And an hour or so later, here it is all dried, and here I am clipping it, and now it's all done. Look how cute. And I'm also going to do the label as well. Hey, you guys. So, happy Easter. Um, it's about, like, afternoon on Easter Sunday because I went to sleep pretty late. Um, but we're going to do an Easter egg hunt, a kitty Easter egg hunt, and dying eggs, and then we're also going to do... Like watch a movie and you guys will see what i get in my easter basket as well any squish models that i get so that'll be really fun um yeah i hope you guys will enjoy this vlog because it's gonna be super fun i love vlogging on holidays 
This is my outfit for Easter. I haven't put on any jewelry or anything yet, but I'll probably wear like some bunny earrings. It's gonna be hard to find. This isn't even all of my jewelry, but um, it's all in like a pile. Oh my God, I should wear the rainbow ones. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I accessorized. I recently got this bug necklace, which I'm really happy about. Then I put on my favorite crystal bracelets. So just waiting now to start festivities. Time to make my grandma's Easter basket. I got her this little plant stand thing. It was on sale for only $2.50 at Target. She loves these Daffy Taffies. And I figured I'd put this little butterfly that I got recently. She's so cute and I've been looking for her. My grandma loves butterflies, so I think she will really appreciate her. She's so cute. And I got her some peeps. Since it is Easter, you always have to give them peeps. And she loves junior eggs. Or junior mints, but these are eggs. And a shovel. Super cute. We love gardening. And I got her this cute bunny, like, glass thing. And some chocolate. This has a little nature animal inside, I'm assuming. And last thing in here is these carrot Reese's because she likes those a lot. So that's her Easter basket. All right, it's all done. And I also got her some flowers, which you guys will see in a minute. Here are all the Easter baskets. These are her flowers, super pretty. And my grandpa's. And this looks like it's mine. And this one is New Kitties. I'm so excited to open up my Easter basket because my grandma did get me a little Easter bunny squishmallow. Um, wasn't in there, so she might have forgotten where she put it, but I'm super excited because she's super cute. And once we find it, I'll show you guys what Easter bunny squishmallow I got. She's so cute. A little a little pink bunny. Oh, do you smell it, Kitty? Do you smell it? Look at this. Kitty treats in here, huh? Is that yummy? Oh, is that yummy? Yummy kitty treats, huh? Yeah. Some new flavors. Oh, and this can go on your collar. Let's put this on your collar. Oh, kitty has a bow tie now. This is some new treats too. You want to try it? Look at brand new treats. These look nice. Kitty, you want to try? Oh, you like that? Nice. Want the yummy? Want another piece? Oh, good quality treat too, Kitty. Oh, and then you got some nickables. Very seldom do we ever have a nice And you got some of these. So yummy. Oh. Yummy. Can we have a kitty? Oh. oh, happy Easter, kitty. Oh, my cat just opened her Easter basket, which was so cute. She's actually really interested in it because she could, of course, smell the trees. And my grandma really liked the orange butterfly. She thought she was so cute. So I think she's gonna leave the butterfly either in her car or just somewhere in the house. And now I'm gonna do an Easter egg hunt. I honestly did not think I would have an Easter egg hunt for myself because I'm like 22 years old. But my grandma did make me one, which is really cool. So after I find, there's 30 eggs apparently. After I find 30 eggs, then um, we're gonna do the Easter egg hunt for my cat with treats inside. Pretty. Ooh. 
more pretty eggs. I wonder if they would put them behind here. Probably not. Oh my gosh. There's toys back here. I don't know where they put all of them. Um, because they could literally be anywhere. I don't think there's any over here, though. Kitty's coming to help! Hi! Oh, you're so cute! You looking for me? Now it's time to fill some eggs with kitty treats for my cat, so she could do an Easter egg hunt. I think it would be super fun. All right, we're all done. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten eggs for kitty to. I have 10 eggs for my cat to find, so let's see. I tried getting the ones that had the holes so she could definitely smell them. And let's see how this goes. Cat, what's that egg, huh? What's this egg? Oh, what is that? Does it smell good? Hmm? Smell like kitty treats? Oh, good job, kitty. Come here. Kitty treats are in there. Come on. Kitty, what is this? What? Kitty, what is that? Is that an egg? You found one? Oh, good job. Look, Kitty, you ran right past it. Oh, good job. Excited, Kitty? You found it? Oh, you're so cute. So cute. Oh, come on. Come on. We gotta keep looking for him. What is that? Huh? Did you find that? Gosh, you found it? She laid down right next to it. You go oh, you're already going next to the other one. Did you find that too? Oh. I know I'm giving her too many treats, but she's gonna go on a diet soon. Oh, but it's Easter, huh, Katie? You happy you found the egg? So yummy, that's what comes out of here, huh? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need three more, kitty, three more eggs. Oh, did you find that? You found it? That was like the best one she's found, actually, because she literally went up to it. That was crazy. Oh, does it smell good? It smells good, we only have two more, two more to go. Smell good? Oh, you walked right past it, Kitty. Where are you going? Now I'm just relaxing before dinner and we're gonna watch Wonder Woman, which I'm super excited about. Um, still haven't found a couple of my eggs that are out there, so gonna need to find those. Also still haven't dyed eggs and we, um, I still haven't found, my grandma doesn't even know where it is, the pink bunny. So she got me a pink bunny squishmallow from Cracker Barrel like a month or so, maybe two months ago. And she doesn't know where she put it and it was supposed to be in my Easter basket. So that's even like, it's even a better Easter egg hunt because it's going to take forever to look in this house and find it. 
but I will find it for you guys to show you since it was supposed to be my Easter basket. So I will wait to show you what was in my Easter basket until I find the bunny. But I will show you guys what I got in some of my eggs though. So yeah, here's Kitty's eggs that she found in here. And also my eggs. Sorry for all the cat hair there. But I did find a lot more eggs, but like I found three eggs that had these jelly beans inside, but I took them all in one. Sorry I didn't film them opening up for you guys, but I also got this Pandora necklace, which is really pretty. It's like really nice. It's a choker. Um, I have too many necklaces on right now, but I also got this Pandora necklace choker and an egg also. And I also found the golden egg had $10 in it. And one of the eggs had a dollar and three eggs had quarters and dimes and stuff. So pretty cool. I'm gonna spend this money on Squishmallow claw machines, honestly, because I always like to pay with coins and paper money instead of my cards. So that's really cool. That's really all I got. A lot of them were empty or just decorated because they're like pretty, but I totally understand because I'm 22. So I don't need a bunch of like junk and Easter eggs, but I'm really happy with what I got. So these are all the eggs that I found. I'm still missing like five or six. So we'll see if I get any more money or candy in them. But I did find all the ones with jewelry inside that were important. So hopefully um, there's not like a $20 bill hidden in a gold egg out there because that would suck. But these are all the ones that I got. Some of them were just empty with grass, as you can see. Hi, kitty. Hi. You're so cute. Do you like this? Do you like your sweet little Easter bow? I think it looks so cute on you. Yeah. Is this your favorite spot outside? out your Easter egg so you can have another treat. She already ate that one. Let's see what's in here. Um, I'm gonna try to give her some of the new treats that she hasn't tried yet that were in her basket that I had to open. These ones, yes. She hasn't tried these yet. Kitty. Oh, this was in your Easter basket. These are yummy. Is it yummy? Here, go eat it. Oh, it's so yummy, huh? Oh, that's a brand new, um, good quality. It's the Blue Buffalo brand. It's really good quality, huh? Oh, good job for sitting, sweet girl. Oh, I guess there's also a mix of other ones in here so she can have these. And then that's all she's getting of her treats today because she's already had so many. They're right here. She's already had so many, but the vet will definitely put her on a diet once we go shortly to her vet appointment. So she can just have a lot of fun and try these treats now until um, she needs to go on a diet and then she needs to cut back. But it is a holiday, so that's why I'm letting her have some. Everyone deserves some candies on Easter, huh? That was it. No more. So she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs still with treats inside. So she can, she'll probably get an egg every day for the next few days, huh, Kitty? Did the timer go off? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's good, right? Yeah, I think so. You guys, I found, I found it. It was in this Cracker Barrel bag over here. This is what was supposed to be my Easter basket. Even my grandma didn't even know where she was, but I'm glad I found her. Okay, so now since I won the ultimate um, Easter egg hunt, you could say, I finally found where my grandma put her because she got her a couple months ago for my Easter basket and both of us forgot where she put it. So um, now I can do the whole haul, I guess you could say, for the Easter basket. So let's get through everything. First, we have this cute little pink bunny. Her name is Bop and she was from Cracker Barrel. And this is a squad, super cute. I wish I could have found the lamb, but I really wanted a bunny that had the little fuzzy cheeks like this. So I was super happy that my grandma got her for me. She's so adorable. I mean, look how fuzzy she is. She's so cute and perfect since it's Easter and it's a little Easter bunny. So I guess I can read her bio. Bop is the queen of nail design. She's so good at it that she has to paint her sister's nails, her mom's nails, and even her grandma's. She's known for her striped and spotted Easter egg nail design. Super cute. So that's little Bop. 
little five inch. Again, we had to search for her. It's now late at night, but I did find her. And then the next thing that I got was this cute pair of llama socks. I picked these out a while ago. I really like green and that's why I got it. Not so much of a llama. Actually, I think it's an alpaca. Oh, it's a kitty here. Anyways, those are the socks. And then it's basically a bunch of food. That's about it. Um, I got some of my favorite candy, which is the soda can, fizzy candy. They're basically just little fizzy things. I will show you guys. My favorite flavor is the cola one, but they only have one of the cola and you get two grapes and two lemon limes, but this one's my favorite. When I used to play with American Girl dolls when I was younger, this was the perfect size for their little hands. But you just basically pop the top right here and then it rolled off my hand, but it's a little fizzy candy. So these are really good. Plus they look super cute also. And my grandma was going to get me the Squishmallow sticker book from Cracker Barrel for Easter. Here it is. I want it so bad. I love stickers and Squishmallows. It'd be perfect for my collection. But we did not find it, which is super sad, but hopefully I can find it soon. This is some, um, um, I forgot what it's called. Something polar um, from Seized Candy. Then I got my favorite bubblegum eggs. I used to have these when I was a kid all the time, so I have to get them like every Easter. And then just a bunch of these yummy, like, I don't know. They're basically like lollipops, but they're little rods like peppermint, but they're not peppermint flavored. Two butterscotch, birthday cake, cherry, and green apple. Then I got a Hershey's Hershey Etz candy coated milk chocolate. These are basically like M&Ms. Oh, and I love this. This is my favorite type of jelly beans. The Welch's jelly beans. Every flavor is amazing. Like, literally, they're so good. And then I got my favorite divinity. You can get this at Cracker Barrel. It's so good and soft. Look at that. And then I got Fruit Punch Peeps, which are really yummy. These are my favorite. And this bag of speckled jelly beans with some Easter grass. It's really cute. This is gonna last me for a while. And then I, as you can see, already opened this cotton candy because I love cotton candy. But I got the fluffy stuff cotton tails, the Easter versions, I guess, but it's so yummy. And like I gave my grandma the banana ones, she gave me the sour apple ones, which are my favorite. So yummy. And then this little sugared marshmallow, like lollipop stick thing. Ooh, and this is my favorite. We picked this up at the mall a couple days ago. It's a little cheese candy, like chocolate box, Easter themed. They have these for every holiday. And I just had some, these are my favorite, molasses molasses bars i believe so yummy and these are just like chocolates and these are like some truffles and some stuff is filled in there i don't know what flavors anything is but yeah super yummy oh and it smells so good seize candy is my favorite chocolate oh and next is my favorite well i have so many favorites of mexican candy but i love the tamarind just soft tamarind so this is super yummy i'm glad i have this i'm gonna eat like half of them tonight and last few things i got Sweet Tarts Ropes. I've never tried the Twisted Rainbow Punch before. So super yummy and it's gay, you guys. How cute. And then also some milk chocolate, a little Easter bunny. And I believe that is every- oh, actually it's not everything. Oh, you gonna play with that, cutie? <laughs> oh my gosh. We picked these up recently, a couple days ago. Um, these are finally back. They discontinued them when I was a kid and they're back now. The strawberries and cream is so yummy. And then the last thing is another one of these bubblegum eggs. They're so good. So, as Kitty is playing with the Easter grass, look at her cute bow she got. Isn't it adorable, Kitty? She's like, no. <laughs> here, I'll put it up here so you don't can't play with it, weirdo. <laughs> and I put all of these back. I did not think I would get so much candy. Oh my gosh, this is so much. You guys can tell that my favorite item is of course Bob. I think she's so cute. I wish, um, I know they have a gray version. Like with the same chubby cheeks, but I wish they had the gray version in a five inch because I think it would be cuter. But um, I'm not the biggest fan of pink, but I still think it's a really cute pink color because as you can see, it's not that kind of pink. It's almost like a peachy color. So she's really cute. Oh my gosh, I love her face. And also, I figured I would talk about the Squishmallow that I got from my grandma. She's so cute. I've been looking for this one for a while now. I got her recently. She will be in the Squish Hunt vlog once I upload um, those clips. 
But this is a little sneak peek for what I did find. Oh, oh. my god. Yay, she's so cute. Yes, I'm- Walgreens exclusive, and she's super cute, so I will read her bio. These are her squad members, by the way. Um, and I did manage to find all the ones I wanted, so that's really cool. You guys will see the ones I get once that Squish Hunt posts. But let's read her bio. Meet Moni. Moni? Moni. She loves adventures and fruity drinks. Every year, she and her friends migrate south for a tropical vacation to soak up the sun. She always packs extra sunscreen, her favorite striped swimsuit, and an interesting book to read on the beach. Want to join? Super cute bio. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. I'm assuming she's supposed to be a monarch butterfly from her wings. And since they say they migrate, monarch butterflies are migrating currently now, actually. But oh my gosh, isn't she adorable? I love her little blush and the sparkle belly. So cute. I probably should have filmed when my grandma got her because she thought she was so cute that she's going to put her on her bed upstairs, which is adorable. Um, I love that she loves her that much. And she says she doesn't like Squishmallows. She does. I should definitely buy her more. Oh my gosh. I gave her the butterfly because I figured she would like her more than the other ones that I got um, because she loves butterflies. Um, because they symbolize a lot of, of, you know, new beginnings, etc. So, so happy that she loved little Moni. So, I figured I would do a review on both, even though this isn't mine. It's, it's in an Easter haul from me, because this is mine. This is my grandma's Easter haul. But, again, I still just wanted to showcase her for anyone who wanted to see her up close. She's so cute. I will definitely be getting another one for myself, because I want to have one in my room as well, so my grandma and I can match. I think that would be so cute. So let me know down below which one is your favorite little 5 inch Easter squish. Let me know if you'd rather have Bop or Moni or Moni. I don't know how to say her name. I'm going to set her on top of Malcolm. There we go. Super cute. I did not film any of the Easter decor, which I will do now even though it's dark. So I'm sorry about that, but I have Army here with a cute Easter pillow. Some more cute Easter pillows. And then we have this cutie and her and another little lamb and he's so cute i just got him recently so adorable and this is my favorite easter one that i found relinda she's so cute i love her so much then over here we have this pillow and this cutie along with some easter decor and my cat's laser and then over here we have bambi easter eggs a candle this guy this little whatever he is is holding a little squish bill and i put this frog and that's me then we have that pillow and this cutie over here is my favorite little area i got these wood mushrooms from crackaroo there's another one. Super cute. Then we have up here, that's my mom. This is also represented my cat Blizzard who we had to put down. Sorry the lights aren't on, but you get the picture. Super cute little froggy there. Most of the decor is right here. Sorry for the shadow. This is my amethyst. That light's on. These cute mushrooms. And down here, just some family pictures. My mom again. Oh, and me. Hi. Super cute. This I got from my grandma, as you saw. Just me and my grandma. Down here is a little less done up because no one really sees it. Then over here, I put some of my crystals. New Kitty's um, basket was here. This is the final candle I made last night with the tag on it. It smells really good. And then I put Peter. He's so cute. I got him from Aldi. And 
This one was the one I was thinking of giving my grandma, but I gave her Moni instead, but this one's super cute. Then over here, and this is all a mess now, but we have this, some papers back there, the hyacinth I got from my grandma, and a little bunny, and then Kitty's Easter eggs with her treats still inside. She kept coming on the table and checking them out. Hi, Kitty. She's more like, what the heck? Um, so that will conclude this year's Easter vlog. We did not end up dying eggs because we only had like two left. Um, so we didn't want to run out and get some eggs because I'm sure stores would be super busy. But um, it was still a fun day. I don't know why I didn't film any of the movie. Like, not that it matters, but I could have filmed like 10 seconds showing what I was doing. But we did end up watching um, Wonder Woman and as we ate the stuffing and turkey that we had. And it was really yummy. It was a great Easter. Um, also had some green jello, which is pretty good. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to leave a like and comment what you guys did on Easter. And also comment down below if you guys think New Kitty's cute. Like, because look at her. Oh, cute kitty sleeping, huh? She's adorable and she totally loved the Easter egg hunt. I, I swear, she liked it. Like, two of them she found without me even, like, kind of guiding her in the direction, which was pretty cool. I didn't think she could do that. But, um, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. We made it to 20,000 subscribers, which means we're gonna do the giveaway very shortly. So, that video will be posted. So, make sure to stay tuned. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, kitty. Oh, does that feel good? Mmm, that feel good, the kitty? Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. Cute kitty. Can I play with this? <laughs> Look at her eyes. You can play with it. You can. Oh, you don't like you don't like the bow. You don't like the bow. I'm sorry. I'll take it off. I'm sorry. But you look so pretty in it. Oh god. D don't bite me. Oh, thanks for the kisses. Thank you. Oh. Okay. <laughs>